All right, welcome everybody back to the Off the Gourd podcast. <laughs> I am welcoming everybody back. <laughs> Hello. It's at 11. It's Almost right. three it's months. It's 11. That's Dang. Crazy. It seems like just yesterday we were just a little baby. And now here Bro, we are. Bro, I'm a fucking baby. Are you 10, million, 10 million viewers. <laughs> Going strong. I'm counting. About the... oh, GTA needs an update. I'm very, uh... Very good input, Ethan. <laughs> I'm gonna say this right <laughs> off the bat. This is gonna be a struggle. <laughs> this is gonna be a struggle. I have not been Are thinking still... of stuff all week, and I'm very high. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so... When did you take your edible? Uh, that's... I think that's coming by now my tolerance is kind of i gotta take like a little more i can't take like quite two edibles that's a little bit too much but like i gotta take more than one for it to really hit me but it was hitting really good earlier but i've been taking edibles. well if it's done now you can take another no i don't feel like it that's in my room i gotta get up and walk bro Ah, uh, true why do that when i got more reliable anyways <laughs> so Water, right? We all love to drink it. Um, we all need it. So anyways, uh, we, we were having this debate the other day about um, bottled water brands. And so in, in like the Midwest, uh, there is a brand of spring water called Ice Mountain. That's the best water. I don't care what anyone says, Sam. True. Um, and I just wanted to put that out there. This guy over here, though, I, he's thinking, you know, Aquafina. You know, the Sony, the cousin, know. Aquafina. The Sony being yeah. the worst water of all time. I Aquafina like my criticism of Ice Mountain is the same as mine of Dasani. It's just they're both flavorless, That's absolute not... nothing waters. Bro, I, like, why do you want flavor in your water? Also, Dasani tastes awful. Yeah, Dasani has a flavor and it's shit. No, they are both so bland. Dasani no ions, makes your no minerals. makes you dry. Like you drink it and your throat gets dry. It dehydrates you. I think we agree Dasani's ass. Flat. But Dasani's yeah, Dasani's ass. Ice Mountain. It's no, just... it's not. That's just false. Excuse. You know what the thing is? You know what the thing is? And it also has to do with the fact that it's spring water. Um, <clears throat> is that I, I feel like Ice Mountain's very smooth. like Or like um, it goes down like super easy. Like, like it doesn't feel thick. I feel like sometimes purified water feels like kind of thick. I don't know how to describe it. Like not like thick but like thicker than like spring water. I don't know how to describe uh, it. If you if you drink like a spring water and a purified water side by side, you would know what I mean. I, I think I know what you mean. And I just I, can't I don't get, think I, I can't get that. <laughs> you get I don't know. Drinking thickened water. No, you you are. <laughs> That's I, the point. Nah. I'll be Look. real. The best water. To drink of all time though has got to be you, like Brita filter water. I think you know, yeah, Brita filter water does smack. Yeah, because you know that's taking that good old natural with all the minerals. Yeah, it's it's just bro, just it's the Aquafina and shit like is sink. straight up tap water, bro. Yeah, we're just we're all talking about how much we love tap water run through that Brita filter. That's what Aquafina is. It's water of the bro. people. Yeah, but then to be the adding minerals and shit. I don't need minerals in my water. I purified it to get the minerals out of it. Bro. Don't Main make no sense. Fact. Um, so, I have been kind of like watching uh, like tier list videos recently. I kind of like have started to get back into them a little bit. Um, and it kind of got me thinking. I thought it'd be fun to talk about, especially in a very dry week um, where we're very high. 
is like, uh, what are your guys' like, what's like an S tier, like fast food restaurant? For me, it's Popeyes for sure. Um, Got to be up there, at least carrying yeah. the chicken game. For oh, sure, S. Guys. That is mm -hmm. true. Raising Cane's is out there putting in legwork too, though. Yeah. That's true. I put it under Popeyes, but like still like either low S or high A. Yeah, I agree with that for sure. Um, do you get okay? So I know like uh, it might be blasphemy for us not to put Chick Fil A up there with these others, but for me, I think like Chick Fil A, while good, is just not quite comparable to Popeyes. Um, and I guess. You know, no, uh, Kane's has that super limited menu, but it, it gets it done with what it's working with. Um, but yeah, where do you guys put Chick Fil A? Where do I put it high A? Uh, yeah, I I, I would agree. agree with that. High A, cause just cause that spicy chicken sandwich, bro. Mm. For me, it's honestly like I you know I think their their chicken sandwich is fine. Now that like McDonald's and everyone else has their own version of that sandwich, like. It's not as special, but that mac and cheese they introduced, I don't know if it was this year or last year. Have you guys tried that? Because amazing. No. They've had mac and cheese for a while. It's a Popeyes? new item as of, I think, last... No, no. Um, Chick-fil-A. Oh. oh, sorry. I have Okay, uh, Pierce, I, did, I, told I know you... for a fact that uh, my button inputs get picked up on in my mic recording and you put us in a bike race where we have to mash A the no, entire I time? No, I told you. Okay. Okay. First of all, we're also like playing something while we're doing this. Um, I told you guys not to join. Like I said that. I oh said my don't God. join. I was just doing it because I was stuck. Dude, why was everybody joining? <laughs> because I was stuck like in a position and I needed to join a job. Anyways. Right. Um... I haven't eaten at Popeyes in so long. And I also have like kind of come to the realization about Chick-fil-A that um like it's not really like like Chick-fil-A is good, but without like sauce, the chicken's kind of like bland. Sometimes the chicken's like kind of soggy. Not really crispy. Yeah, it is similar to Cane's where it does kind of get hard carried by the sauce. Yeah. Yeah, but Cane's got the bread. Kane's That's true. Do got the bread. All right, we've been like stuck on uh, chicken over here though. We gotta we gotta start. You know, what's our S tier burger? Yeah, but or, like, maybe that's just chicken food. is just so good. It is. I I agree for sure. But like, it is my preferred. I guess it's not. We're we're going to fast food overall. Uh, list here but like what are some like burger centric fast food joints that you think belong in S tier Steak and Shake is high up there I don't know if Bro, I put it in so S tier just because of the long waits slander <laughs> out there I will not stand any Steak and Shake slander that is top tier it's worth I'm the wait I'm gonna be honest I think I like burger. yeah fantastic food right but i think their service holds them back they've like it does it does they've never had service uh <laughs> great service they've always had it yeah here. especially now that they've basically gotten rid of dine-in or like uh like the waiters mm -hmm. i that actually i i don't know if it seemed quicker or not but i mean i understand why they did that because they literally went like bankrupt yeah oh so i think that might have been a good call because i think like they're just kind of modernizing in that now that type of restaurant, they don't hire wait staff. They just have a kiosk at the front or just a counter where you order your food. You know, you get a number and go from there. It's so much simpler. I think, yeah, that might help them in the long run, but I don't know because they were already facing bankruptcy. Might be, uh, you know, final days for Steak and Shake. Well, their owner completely paid off their uh, bankruptcy. They, complete, oh, or they completely paid off all their debt. Whoa. Oh, okay. Well, that's news to me. Yeah, that happened, like, last year. That's good, because I definitely don't want Steak and Shake to go away. Because you're right, that garlic burger is unparalleled. I like the food it, overall. I feel like the yeah, garlic burger is, like, yeah. underrated, bro. 
Like, no one ever talks about the garlic burger when talking about steak and shit. It's so all good. We talk about. Dude, I can't believe they yeah. took away chicken tenders. Like, I did not know they did that. What? I didn't either. Yeah, last time we went, they, they didn't have chicken tenders anymore. Okay, oh. wait, actually, uh, I talked with my... My mom was telling me about this, right? The other day I saw her. Apparently her and my brother uh, went over to Steak and Shake and they tried to get some chicken tenders. And it's not that the item is permanently going away, but apparently um, the farm which provides them the chicken for their chicken tenders or just the chicken tenders, um, there was an outbreak of some kind of disease amongst the chickens. So the chicken's going away for a little while. But Yeah, I assumed it was back. just... I, didn't, okay. I, didn't, I assumed it wasn't permanent. It was just a supply issue. Yeah. I just thought oh. that was crazy. But like, okay. So I think if you guys think there's anything else that belongs in the S tier. Mm. Uh what <sighs> Taco Bell is really high up for me. Oh, but it's I not don't... S tier, I don't yeah. think. Yeah. It's not S tier because it gives me shits. It doesn't. It isn't I've eaten so much Taco Bell, it's never gave me shit. Bro, shits. that's... I don't know. Taco Bell's like a B or a C for me, bro. I'm not... I'm, I'm not on the Taco Bell train. It no, do think, fuck with yeah. my digestive system, but I love it so much. I don't I love it. I like certain items, but I'm not like... I'm not like a Taco Bell devotee. I think it'd go bro. in B for me as Cheesy well. Cheesy Gordia Crunch just, like, makes your day. <laughs> It does if it's done right, man. I don't know. I don't know if I've just, like, experienced some loveless Taco Bells, but every time I've gone, or not every time, but, like, you know, maybe three out of five times I go, like, my shit's cold, <laughs> or, like, my taco just has sour cream on it, or, like, that, you know, that type of thing. Uh, so I think, like, there I was gotta one, dock them for, like, uh, shitty quality of the food. Uh, yeah, there was one near me, uh, at Purdue for like two years that was one of the worst fast food places just I've ever been to. Like order was always wrong. Uh food always came out like thirty minutes after you ordered. Uh and thankfully that got uh closed down like a year or two into college. Where uh, do you guys put um <clears throat> like McDonald's on your cheer list? C it's got to be A for me. Yeah, I'd put it in low A. Yeah, it's I agree. Just, I don't Actually, know. you know, I, I, I think I'm loading up the top. I would put, I'm going to put McDonald's in B, B tier. But, like, you know, at its peak, McDonald's is S tier. But I those think fries. That, yeah, if you if you get those fries just right, like, Truth. it belongs. But I think just a lot of the times the McDonald's promise – and the McDonald's reality don't always align. Yeah. That's just that's just the that's just the nature of the D. Yeah. <laughs> I would put I think uh Wendy's as well in, in uh B tier. What are you guys thoughts there? Really? Wendy's B tier for I'd sure. I'd put it in A. Maybe even S. I'm a big Wendy's fan. I just had Wendy's today. Wendy's nuggets, bro? Wendy's nuggets burgers are snack. mid. Like, their chicken are they incredible. Doing? Their fries, in my opinion, better before the Switch. Um, the, these new recent fries they have, where it's like, uh, um, they're always hot and crispy, nah, have been I'm, very good. I'm more for the, because be they've definitely got some kind I of could batter not on the them now. Really? They are different. The old ones, like, you know, the old ones could get soggy for sure and, and, and got cold easier. But just the way that they were, like, actually, like, cut off the potato, I was a huge yeah. fan of that. I, they felt, they tasted really authentic. And now they're just, you know, more or less, like, they're just kind of middle of the, middle of the line. I don't me. agree. But, hey. You do you, bro. Yeah, do you sit on there? All right, so we're kind of in the the A and B tiers now. Any like other, you know, ones you think are up there but not perfect? Um, I'm gonna Burger say King? 
Again, I was just about to say, I think Burger King is extremely overhated. Burger King sucks. Burger it's just King not true, right. bro. I I'm, bro, I'm the with Whopper, Jackson here. Bro, the Whopper is fire. Their chicken the fries? The meat sucks. I no, hate it. No, it doesn't, bro. That's just not true, bro. You don't like the charbroiled taste? Tastes like it's cut straight off the grill, bro. Straight off that grill, grill, grill. Tastes like it's straight out of the factory. It doesn't. <clears throat> if anything, McDonald's does. McDonald's do taste that way. Yeah, but the patties are so thin that you can't notice it. Uh, I think you're just a hater. And, but we can all agree that Arby's slaps. That's true. Yes. Slaps. Arby's is definitely an A tier. Uh, I'm gonna give Arby's uh, B tier because maybe high B just because it's expensive. I that was my point yeah. that I was gonna make because it's just too damn expensive. But yeah, I agree it's up there. I think that's one of the hottest takes we have a po as a podcast. I know like everyone I talk to that I like, I'm like, dude, oh, I Arby's fucking love Arby's. Like, They're like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like Arby's, no one is likes dog Arby's. Shit. It's insane to me. Like I didn't like I don't understand people's like hatred towards Arby's. I mean, I guess even the Simpsons made a joke about it. So right, Arby's like, haters, sound thing. off in the comments. Tell us Ar why Arby's you hate haters. Arby's haters are cowards who do, who can't enjoy a good uh, roast beef sandwich. You heard it first here. That's true. There's, roast beef is not gross. It's busting all over my face, just like coming jizz would. <laughs> um, I'm going to say it. I, I know you guys probably don't agree, because this is even more of a hot take. I think horsey sauce is busting, bro. I've come uh, around just, on it. I'm not a fan of horsey sauce, but I also don't like horseradish. Yeah. That's the only horseradish I've ever had. It's horsey sauce. I am I don't a like horsey it. sauce fan, but Arby sauce, yes, I think is iconic. I've Arby's never had Arby sauce actually. Neither. It's I. just Arby's version of barbecue sauce, and it's pretty good. Hmm. If you've had like a beef and cheddar, it usually comes on it. Yeah. Oh. I typically just get regular old roast beef. I think it's on. Is it not on that one as well? No. I don't know if it comes on by default. No, it doesn't. Big fan, though. I think uh, Arby's is extremely, extremely overhated. And people just don't see the vision. They don't fuck with the vision. <laughs> they the will one day. The curly fries. The mozzie sticks, uh, bro. The oh, curly stop. Fries are the Euros. Bro, the Euros. You say the curly the fries are overrated? I think they are. No. That's an L But I'm just, I'm just a fan. That Where's is an L take. Sam L. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm not a fan of that take, bro. Yeah, I'm bro. Sorry. The seasoning on that shit, the makes it and they're always so crispy. Anything. They're always so crispity, crunchity. But peanut some that I think also belongs up here in like the Arby's type, you know, low A, high B conversation um, is rallies, for sure. Yeah, Ooh. I'd agree. Rallies. I have not had it enough to have like a full opinion on it, but like the half pound chicken bites are amazing. Uh, I used to love the half yes. pound chicken bites until I threw up after drinking too much. And now I can't, bro. Oh, some of oh. the best fries in the, in game. the game. I've heard Popeyes are really good. I've never had them. They're very similar to rallies, actually. Um, yeah. How would you guys rank like the top, uh, like like the big pizza chains? Oh, are we including them on this list as well? We can. All right, let's do it. I think it's kind of fast. Papa Domino's John's is the high year. up there for me. Domino's is high up there. Domino's okay. is Thank people sleep you. on Domino's. Yes. I'm with those sleepers. Dude, the, I'm gonna put Domino's in the you. tier. Domino's Dude, the is crust is so good. A tier. Yeah. The sauce, mid. The garlic knots, mid. The breadsticks, mid. 
their garlic dip is a pathetic imitation of their of garlic John's. dip is not good. Their garlic dip, yeah. but I don't think I don't think any I don't think any pizza places garlic dip matches Papa John's. No, but I think my hot take is that Pizza Hut is absolutely a tier. That's at least. false. That's just false. It's like not even an opinion. I haven't had it enough. I have not either. Bro, I cannot turn this plane. Well, now you're dead. <laughs> I know we, we've kind of also got a hot take, I think, on Little Caesars. Um, if I remember correctly, we're all, like, pro Little Caesars over here. B, B tier. B tier. I, I think, think I'm pro for the price. Spot. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I've never had Little Caesars. What? what? We really? gotta get this man some crazy bread right the fuck now. Crazy bread <laughs> slaps hard. Like crazy bread is yes. like S tier. We gotta get this man some crazy bread. Yeah. Next. Yeah. Level. I don't know. Considering now it's a six dollar hot and ready, I don't know if I want to go for it. Bro, that's <laughs> just too much, bro. Okay. Um. Is is Hungry Howie's like a national chain or just something that we? I've had never heard here? of that. I don't think I've ever Local. heard of that. <laughs> Local, okay. I was gonna say that one's that one belongs maybe in the S tier for me. I think Where a hot you, take you that. Like... Go ahead. You go ahead. Oh, I have you guys have you guys had Donatos? I think that's one that's. I, dude, I have not on. had Donatos in like fifteen years. I love time. Donatos. There used to be a Donato's in Anderson, and it got turned into a dentist. Damn. And then I never had Donato's again. <laughs> Donato's has crazy Marcos. rated. Uh, Marco's six. pizza is pretty Marcos, good. Marco's is pretty good. I haven't had it in a while either. I, Marco's I is had it. Similar. It was like the... It was the only chain that my parents would order from. <laughs> and I think I just got sick of it after a while. Because like the, the crust is just nothing. True. There was a Marco's by a family video... Anderson. Isn't it Marcos was the, the one you find in, like, gas stations? It was the Ben and Ari's pizza place. Like, they were out back no. of that in Fishers. Bro. Sam, there was ben one on, uh, there was one on 116th and Brook School that was, like, next to the marsh. Oh, okay. Yeah. It was pretty mid-pizza. Find out where we live. I dare you. Where we used to live. <laughs> <laughs> I think, um, yeah, let's, I'm trying to think of more, like, what, what pizza places do you think belong on the bottom tier? Like, what are your, what are pizza your trash hut? pizzas? Oh, God, come on. No. no. I haven't had that many memorable trash pizzas. Yeah. So, like, mm -hmm. If anything no, there's is, this like, place, belongs there's in the B or C place, tier, I just don't remember him. There's this Noble place Romans. In, in Muncie. Yes. Oh, F tier. There's this place in Muncie. What's that, like, Vinny's place? Cousin Vinny's? Cousin Vinny's Pizza. Nasty. My cousin Vinny? <laughs> it is the worst pizza I've <laughs> ever had. But Door dashed it one time because it was the only place open. Um... Bro, shit's terrible. Oh, dude, you know what belongs in F tier? Pizza King. Oh yeah. What? Dude, I went to Pizza King once with my friend. We, like, we were just like driving somewhere, and we we're like, there was a Pizza King near, and we we're like, all right, let's just stop in and get, like, sit down and get a pizza. And we. The second we walked in, okay, first there of was all, an Pizza argument King, happening. First of all, Pizza King is a is an Indiana pizza chain. Just but it that. only yeah. shows up in rural ass towns. <laughs> yeah. Um. The second we walked in there, there was already a fight happening in the kitchen. Um, hey, like man. a verbal one, not uh, altercation. Um, and someone sat us down. It took twenty minutes for the server to come. And the guy just hands us breadsticks. And <laughs> I'm pretty sure we asked, like, if we get charged for them. And the guy was like, nah. <laughs> and then we ordered our pizza. 
took like another half hour to get through. Um, in that half hour, the guy who was like arguing in the kitchen just like stormed out. Listen, and your experience we... is not like your experience is not indicative of the entire pop uh, pizza king experience. Okay, but when we got the pizza, it sucked ass. Like three, like I think we got like three of the toppings, and two of them are wrong, and it just wasn't good pizza. And then we got our bill back, and they charged us for the breadsticks. <laughs> Like I said, bro, I you going. just didn't have you just didn't have a good experience, bro. You get a good experience what at Pizza King. What better experience could come out of a Pizza King? What What do you mean what better experience? <laughs> They're not being a fight. <laughs> them getting your pizza right, them not charging you. You know normal things that happen. Are you telling me that does not happen at every single Pizza <laughs> no, King? No, it does India? not happen at every single Bro, there's some Pizza Kings where you call the kitchen they have like a phone in the booth and you call the kitchen yeah. and you tell them your order i remember that shit pizza king yeah. the king bro. bro i am on pierce's side in this and their breadsticks look... slap with their dill butter bro yes bro oh my god i do remember god. their breadsticks being good but that was that's the only pizza joint in like my grandfather's you know middle of nowhere town so that's all we'd get when we'd go over there for pizza. And boy, was it just like, just, you know, the epitome of mid. It's You guys just haven't had good Pizza King experiences. Because <laughs> Pizza, Pizza King is like a franchise, and they do, like, if I went to a Pizza King in the town where I work, it'll have a different... I'll have a different experience than if I went to one in Anderson. Um, because they're another one that I just remembered uh, that should be rated highly is Hotbox slash Pizza X. Yes. yes. I'd give that one B. I'd agree. Breadsticks are Dainty uninspiring here. without the, you know, their oh, the sauce. godly cheese sauce. I'm and the pizza itself sauce. is just all right. And this was the worst, like, idea for a topic when we're all just stoned off our minds. It's like, <laughs> with everything we mentioned, I'm just like, God, I could really go for that right now. Mm -hmm. Testing your temptations. How long before one of us breaks and orders something? Do you imagine just, like, <laughs> do you imagine if, like, Sam just, like, ordered a pizza I've got leftover <laughs> Papa John's upstairs that I'm certainly going to be getting into after this now. Bro, um, that that's actually a good uh, that that makes me think of some. Um, so that, you know, like the, the like Mega Millions jackpot was like over a billion dollars or whatever. Mm -hmm. And like someone won it. What would you guys do if you won like a billion dollars? All right, wait, um, before we stop switch the job search. Off, one thing, we get, we got to talk about our bottom tier fast food oh, slash yeah. pizzas. Uh, but yeah, uh, we will put a pin in our Long John discussion. Silver. Long, that, Long does that John count? Silvers. Is that like fast food? That's yeah. fast food. Yeah, that's fast food. I've never had it. I, I just assumed it's it was nasty. a sit-down yeah. restaurant. No, it's fast that's food. It's not great. I know it's some nasty. people swear uh, by this restaurant, but China Express. Never oh. had it. Panda Express, sorry. Panda Express. No, that's nasty. I oh. Know. It's mid. Or it's extremely mid. It's not nasty. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's very mid. And I there's always a, such a long line good. whenever I go past it. For midness. Um, I don't know. I can't think of any that I like. really like hate. I don't Burger like King. noodles and yeah, Burger King. That's not really a... That's not really a fast food place, but like I was just thinking of restaurants. I'm not a fan of noodles. I like noodles. Well, I'm also a noodles fan. They have really good mac and cheese, and their Japanese pan noodles. Dude, yes. Yeah. Also, their pad thai is like really good. Yeah. yeah. I've um, only had noodles once, if I'm honest. Oh. Uh, right. Panera bread isn't Panera bread isn't really fast food, but it's also pretty mid. Yeah, it is. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah. I don't know. Their Mediterranean veggie sandwich, though, goes hard. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's, like, really overpriced, though. Uh. Yeah. Your mom's overpriced. His dick <sighs> overpriced. Bro, you really just got roasted on the internet. Say goodbye to your career. Goodbye. Anyways, what would you guys do if you won that jackpot? Um, find my own place. <laughs> Stop looking for jobs. Yeah, yeah, you're never yeah. working again. <laughs> uh, I'd probably just start like Twitch streaming, just to like have something to do. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't like go crazy. Um, yeah. I don't know. I. I definitely wouldn't like immediately learn how to like invest. <laughs> I have a little but, like, fun. I'll, pr with my I'll probably do that sometime down the line. I yeah, I I'd I'd... would definitely have to have fun with the money. Okay, I am so ready for this. All right, <laughs> I'm hiring the best fucking like you know personal accountant investor in the world. He's taking half of my money, and you know that's his. Just like he's just gonna keep growing it for us. Now, then I'm just, with the rest of it, I'm just taking me and my closest 50 friends. We're going to buy out, like, a, you know, a crazy-ass neighborhood. Um, I mean, it's probably just a normal neighborhood, but in a really nice place. And I don't know. I'm just carrying How luxurious us. would you guys go with your house? I honestly... Not very. I don't want a big house I, don't I just feel like that's too much... It's too much work, even if you're like paying people. Yeah. yeah. I'd like it like just a nice, like like a big house, but like not like a not like mansion, but like a, a big normal house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I and see, yeah, like I'd have to have a pool. Yeah, for sure. I'd want you know, a Sam's big wanting a big mansion. house. But no, no, I I think like I, I'd want the house part of it to be. A normal size house, but like I wouldn't mind having a bowling alley in the basement, a <laughs> basketball court in the backyard, like a big ass swim, like a water park, maybe like a roller <laughs> oh <my> coaster. <laughs> like I know the it's house a lot of money, small, but it's like just have every or something. bit of entertainment <laughs> I need at my house. Like that's that'd be awesome. And there might be some things I, I don't know. I just I don't need a lot. It'd be nice to just always like, and and if if you do that, you probably don't even have to invest your money. You can just live off that, and you probably be fine. Yeah. I mean, obviously you should, because more money is never a bad thing. I also probably wouldn't have kids. So I'd either yeah. like I'd definitely like donate it all before I die. Yeah. Be a good Samaritan. Yeah, bro. Fuck it, bro. I'm keep. I'm. I'm getting buried with all my money. Uh, mm. Take it with you. Guess you're not going to heaven then. I donate a lot of that money, but I'm definitely still like starting an empire <laughs> of like of wealth. Would you guys uh, like? Um, would you guys like buy like a business? Just like just to do it, just like try it out. Like I always see those um, those billboards for like Steak and Shake, where it's like, you know, Become buy a franchise, a, buy a only. franchise for only like this small amount of money. Would you like just try that out? Nah, because then you okay. gotta like I, do shit. Not. I wouldn't franchise like a Steak and Shake, uh, but if I got really bored, I would definitely open a bar. Oh yeah, Ooh. I think I'd buy an already existing business so I wouldn't have to do the work of like building up a business from the ground up. Well, there we go. Yeah. There, there's the we can do the restaurant where we got Sam's fried pickles, and uh, yeah, I can make burgers. Yeah. The classic. Yeah. You'll be seeing it. You'll be seeing it in in your local town here soon. Yeah, as soon as one of us wins the lottery. Coming soon. Did you see though that he got t like? I think it was like 1.7 billion, but after taxes, he only took home like 400. I, I only like he's set forever, but took home 400 something million. 
Really? Yeah. God damn. It's totally neutered. I mean, that's still. I would still like. I I don't know what I would even do with that amount of money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I uh. You're crazy. Like, I would abandon every aspiration I had and like just go and explore the world. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Pierce, do you want to start up a race? Oh, do you want to? I'm down. Fuck it. Um. I I just like I I want to make sure I'm comfortable, and like I'm living in like a nice house. Um. Uh, yeah. I want to make sure Pierce is uncomfortable. <laughs> We're going to be having, like, battles. No, but we got to get, like, a neighborhood. And, uh, we got to, like, take over. Yeah, you imagine so I'm all saying we buy neighbors. out a neighborhood and then just, like, but just on the beach, too. So. Mm -hmm. That would be amazing. Just make a commune. Yeah. But do it in society so that like we don't have to self-sustain like i can still go to target yeah <laughs> yeah isn't that kind of just like forming your own kind of government like organization at that point yeah pretty we just become that hoa that we discussed in the previous episode <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna be starting everyone to have duck like, we still let people move into the neighborhood with us but they have to like you know have fish mailboxes and shit <laughs> Fine with me. We can be kings. Okay. We got so, it. important. Has Joe Biden been killed or died, succumbed to COVID, and been <laughs> replaced by a clone Dark Brandon. that is known as Dark Brandon? <laughs> I mean, it's obvious. Something was wrong <laughs> with that one video of him. Where his eyes just looked wrong. No, bro. And then the, he, dude, he had that, he had the comeback, bro, where he was like, my predecessor got COVID. <laughs> and well, and, he, predecessor and he, was, COVID. he was rushed to the hospital. I got COVID. And I was doing work in the Oval Office. So you think, you think that he was like referring to Trump, but he's referring to regular Brandon. Yep. You know, <laughs> <laughs> but dude, I mean, also like if you heard like his voice kind of got you know deeper. I assume just because he was sick, and so he, just, he sounded different. It's it's just it's perfect. You know, I just love that he's you know he's getting up to arming Antifa and directly <laughs> killing Trump supporters. Apparently, raising gas prices and then lowering them. With the you know snap of his fingers, dude, he also, does that. That's amazing. He do be doing that. All hail Dark Brandon. I I am I am a proud Dark Brandon acolyte. Yeah, me as well. <laughs> Amen, brother. Now what? And... What else you got, guys? Gotta go. Well, those were all of our topics. So I <laughs> those guess were the all of the two. Just done now. <laughs> those were all of the two topics. Um. No. Uh, oh, there's one I wanted to. So, I I wanted to bring it up last week, but we all we did was talk about Comic Con. Um. Did you guys hear about like all the the issues with like the new Last of Us uh remake? Yeah. No. It's like not what they promised real like they they promised like um who's not playing ethan oh <laughs> fuck um uh they promised like uh <clears throat> like like a new enhanced combat and it's like pretty much the same and it's like it, ha it has less content and it's going to be 70 dollars Okay, well, to be fair, on the point of, like, they never promised that the combat would be enhanced. They did say that there would be gameplay enhancements, which people assumed meant that they were going to change the combat system to be like The Last of Us 2. And so when that wasn't the case, people got upset about it. I think, like, when it comes to this game, is it overpriced? Like, yes. But, you know, I think that just, like, don't buy it. Then, you know, I I think, like... 
people are at least there's certain PlayStation fans that are like, how I can't believe they're gonna make me pay seventy dollars for this. It's like just you know, it'll go on sale. It's a they're PlayStation not making you game. do anything. Don't, like yeah, don't don't support this. If like if you don't want to see you know this type of game be priced at seventy dollars, like don't buy it. Yep, don't buy it. The problem, man, that's the thing that sucks about voting with your wallet is it never works because people always just end up buying it anyways. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's like the same thing with Pokemon. Yeah, because, like, in my opinion, even if this game did have, like, you know, totally, um, and like, upgraded combat and, and all that, like, I, to me, it's still not worth $70, a full, like, new game. Yeah. I'm still not fully on to the $70 price thing yet. They gotta, like, earn it. Because I understand that video games have been 60 the entire time mm -hmm. that they've been there, so like they're kind of overdue for a price jump. But they gotta earn. They can't be like doing any like shady microtransaction shit in their seventy dollar yeah. releases. Yeah, I'll, I'll only really accept a seventy dollar uh, increase if just like macro check <laughs> seventy dollar increase. <laughs> The increase to seventy dollars if microtransactions just stopped existing. Yeah, yeah. So that won't ever happen. For me, I'm cool with the seventy dollar like increase, or, or ten dollar <laughs> increase to seventy, if that means <laughs> that like we get to keep things that are just like pure single player experiences, RPGs, that type yeah. of game. Because I mean, otherwise, if you know people. If they are just not profiting off of these games, they're just gonna do live service, free to play. It's weird how free farms. to play is the thing that gets you the most money. Yeah, but like everything's going free to play because it's the most lucrative. Yep, yeah, because you just get that install base, and you know, certain because there's no reason to not are install. Throw a thousand at it that might have only thrown sixty at it were it not, mm -hmm. you know, that game. Like, look at multiverses. Yep. I think I think that's another thing. Well, besides the fact that it has a lot of polish to it compared to like Nickelodeon, um, I think it being free to play is going to help it a lot. Yeah, Nickelodeon was you know behind a paywall, and, I and it wasn't like that big. That it was stopped. like thirty bucks, but still, I think it was it thirty or forty. Yeah, it wasn't enough to warrant it. So it wasn't right. like great. Yeah, but so many more people are going to be trying out this game and talking about this game, and then people are going to fall in love with this game, and then they're going to start releasing characters that people will want to play as, especially when you're Warner Brothers and have all kinds of IP like that. They, there's going to be mm -hmm. third-party characters, too. And, yeah. Oh, that's... Um, yeah, like, they're going to make bank off of... There's sure those characters two third-party third, two third -party characters have been found in the files, which are Godzilla and Eleven from Stranger Things. I think Godzilla is under the Warner Brothers belt. Well, it's not technically. That. Technically, it technically all Warner Brothers does is... Well, they're uh, a distributor in the All they do is distribute it. Legendary but, is the one that has the rights. That's yeah. why, like, there can be an Apple TV show. Yeah, but Warner Brothers like does not have any hand in the, like, Stranger Things pot, so that's, that's interesting. Nope. Yeah, there's going to be third-party <laughs> characters. I think, because Smash is great because it's a, it's a crossover of you know all these classic video game characters, but Multiverses is really great because of it. Um, uh, like it, like it can be a crossover with anything, kind of like Fortnite. So, yeah, I think that's and, the and, model and with them recording with them recording like unique voice lines. It kind of like sells the experience even more that this is a crossover game. Do you think that'll keep up? Like as they add more characters? I hope so. I yeah. kind of doubt it will. I also doubt it will. I mean, it's not like there's a lot of voice lines. They could have them come in and record like bulk voice lines. Because yeah. there's not like a ton. There's just, I've only like witnessed a couple. Or at least if it does continue, I don't think we'll get as much care to like get you know the proper actors and things in as they do or they have for the main cast. Maybe. I'm excited to see who they add though. 
Yeah, I like think what, this game I guess, has a lot of potential. Thinking about everyone that Warner Brothers has under their belt, who would you guys like to see? J.K. Rowling. <laughs> 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 um, hmm. Who would I like to see? That's a tough one. Um, I don't know. That's really hard because they they have a lot Basically, of characters and like a lot of characters. Anyone already... from anyone from like Cartoon Network and Adult Swim, Mordecai and Rigby and, like, would be I, cool. Yeah, outside of that, I don't really know like what Warner Brothers owns that like hasn't already been put in. I would love to see a Xenomorph or Predator. Ooh, those would be uh, good. Let's see. Mm. Outside of that, yeah, I know Warner Brothers has a shit ton of things. <laughs> I mean, like that, yeah, I they they're. Think about it. I don't know, like Neo from the Matrix. Ooh, yeah, that'd be cool. Um, Paul Atreides of Dune. You know, like any <laughs> any, you know, like uh, any. Oh, <laughs> smiling friends. Smiling friends. That would yeah. be funny. Um, yeah, There's you got like anything property. from like Adult Swim. And any basically anything that's on HBO Max. Think about what like you've watched on HBO Max. That most likely can be in the game. Family guy. Yeah. Anyone from DC. Yeah. yeah. I wait, imagine wait, we got Disney. Miller's Flash specifically. <laughs> I'm down. No. No, I imagine they'll add some villains. From DC, they haven't added it. I don't think there's any villains at all in the game. I think uh, there is a dark side um, move or like. There, there's item. a. It's a. It's a. Um, so like you know how when you knock someone out of bounds, it like like a little like explosion appears. Mm -hmm. Um, you can customize that so where like, like one of them you can unlock is uh when you knock someone out of bounds, it does the omega beam. Okay, yeah, that's what it is. So, some representation there, but yeah, some DC villains would be cool. I think it has a lot of potential. I'm hyped to see where it goes once it gets out of beta and really starts. You know, we see where all the feedback from people goes. I think it's already got a yeah. really solid, like, controls. Like, it feels good to play. Do we know, know how it, many people? It are feels kind of clunky to me. It does, it does feel a bit me. clunky to me, I mean, but I think like anything that's not Smash will will feel yeah. odd because Smash is the standard. I think it feels yeah. much better than Nickelodeon All Star Brawl. But yeah, it like I I feel like it doesn't flow as good as Smash does. Like I don't know. I didn't really have any issues. I felt like pretty. At home playing it, but I don't know. It's just me, I guess. I still have. Maybe I'm just it. high. <gasps> Anything else you guys have been playing, watching, listening to? Just, I've been getting back in the GTA this week. I've been getting no, back. Uh, I played a lot of. I've been playing a lot of Slay the Spire again. Pretty fun. Oh, actually, it's like a roguelike card game. I just, I've been like getting the past like couple nights, I've been going through and watching, getting through Batman Returns. Ooh. That movie's so good. I, I the Tim Burton movie. I couldn't get through the, I couldn't get through the first Tim Burton movie. Really? Oh, really? I love yeah. the Tim Burton movies. I think they're both really good. I think the second one is underrated. The second one's great. It it's weird. It is very weird. Danny DeVito is like, the penguin. It you works. can't go wrong with that. It works. He's like, and and they make him like grotesque, but like they don't really like make him like like it still feels in character. Like it still feels like the penguin. Um. Yeah, I can't believe that, bro. Those, I love those movies. 
Yeah, I'm surprised you, Ethan. Have you seen them? Yes, they are excellent. I yeah, I don't them. know how. Jackson, Tim, like, oh, go ahead, sir. The who is it that plays Tommy Lee Jones plays Two Face in the one? That one. Oh, that's in, a forever. Yeah, that one. Technically a sequel, but not directed by Tim Burton. And it's pretty loose continuity at that point. Uh, <laughs> I think Batman and Robin is a fun movie that we should watch while high sometime. I've always... I, I haven't watched... I, I I haven't seen, like, any of the other movies besides the Tim Burton ones in that, like, series. So I'd be down. You ha- so you haven't seen uh, Batman and Robin? Nope. Oh, that's a must. That's that's like <laughs> universally considered the worst one. Is that the George Clooney one? Um. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> with, that has, with the bat credit cards the... and fake lips, and Arnold Schwarzenegger as Mister Freeze and like Bane. But oh yeah. Yeah, it's 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 ridiculous. The director did come out and say that they tried to make it as gay as possible. <laughs> I believe it. I've seen like clips of it. So I have an idea of what it is, of like, you know, how it goes. But yeah, I'd be down to watch that high. Yeah. So, yeah, that one's. We'll all, you know, put a pin in that. Maybe boys trip one night. Let's see, yeah, we won't regret that. Um. But also, like, I'm going to take this, like, take a moment to just point out, speaking like, Jackson hasn't seen the classic Batman movies. It's a sin that he also hasn't seen, is it Indiana Jones? Yeah. And yeah. then Pierce isn't off the hook because he hasn't seen <laughs> Lord of the Rings. True. Arguably more influential than Indiana Jones. Uh, I don't know. I think yes, you can make that. I'd say they're equally. Uh, I would say they're but, equally as influential. I don't know. I think Lord of the Rings is more influential, but Indiana Jones is more classic. Uh, I can't believe. I don't that know. It did a lot for like, the beginning of like action. You're, you are both losers in this scenario. <laughs> Watch these incredible <laughs> movies, please. <laughs> See, the Truthfully. problem with Lord of the Rings is that it's a time crunch. It's so good, though. It will, like, it's well, so is the all fastest three, or three hour Four Indiana Jones movies. Not like that. And you don't have to watch the fourth. No one I, said I you had to watch the fourth. Watch it. I, I think you should watch well, the Well, if, fourth, if I want to see the new one, I'll have to watch the fourth one. Uh, I don't know. You may not. <laughs> They're not bringing back, like, what? It's like, how are they going to, okay. like, Four's not that bad. <laughs> uh, I like it. Is four Crystal Skull? Yeah. Yeah. I they like George Rupp. It has some Lucas really Rupp. fun yeah. sequences in it. And I think like the concept is super absurd, but in a fun way. I agree. I don't hate it, but like compared to the other ones. It's not as good. Like Have you guys all seen the mummy? No. <laughs> The, the mummy, mummy really excellent. does feel like Walmart brand Indiana Jones, but I but I love it too. It's so good. Yeah, I have oh, seen the mummy. Fuck. Sure, sure. Okay, what other what other what what other classic movies have been this? That has some have have one of us not seen. Um, has Ghostbusters, Breakfast seen Club. King? You haven't seen Breakfast have you guys Club. Seen... No, I have. Have you guys seen Breakfast Club? Yeah. Yes. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Pierce has not. Pierce, come no. on. Bob. Ferris Bueller's Day Off, yes. Bro, Forrest I bet Gump. this man has never seen a John Hughes movie in his life. Oh. What about Ghostbusters? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Bro, I fucking love Ghostbusters. That shit's my jam, bro. I always liked the Ghostbusters, but... It, it's fine. That was like, like one of, of that. That was okay. like a big movie for me growing up. That like kind of helped shape, like, like who I am. 
Pierce, that I wanted to make a Jake Novak reference when I you know, said that's I my know, jam, bro, I, I realized, but I did not I remember the lyrics. No, <laughs> I, did, I did do it on purpose, but as soon as I said it, I realized what I said. Something, 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 Lynn man he, Miranda. No, he said, he said, you see, weekly music videos are my jam, bruh. Oh, wait, hold on. I know um, something I wanted to talk about. It, it's kind of old, or not old news, but it's like, it's been talked well a, a lot. Uh, the pink sauce from TikTok. Ugh. Is it oh, any yeah. good? No, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do I have something to tell you? No. <laughs> no, you they would. The, the, the first of all, she would ship it. She was making it from her house, which already violates um, laws for like a. Uh, what are they called? Like cottage Health. baking laws or something like that. Uh, but I have no ba idea. basically, it's like pretty much the only food that you can sell out of your house is um, like baked goods and stuff like that. Mm. Um, and she's making this sauce that has no preservatives in it. She doesn't refrigerate it when she sends it, so like people will get their People will get their sauces and it'll just be like rotten. Oh. And it's like Pepto Bismol colored. Which oh, yeah, like it looks disgusting. It's way too liquidy. Ew. Yeah, because it's more like a ranch consistency. Than well like... even like a refrigerated ranch is like pretty thick. Yeah, but it's not refrigerated. <laughs> That's the problem. You can like straight up get botulism from it. Oh, mm -hmm. like that. Like that's how like reckless it is. And then like when she was being confronted about it on a live, she was like, "F." She was like, "Y'all keep saying FDA approved. What do you mean? I'm not selling a drug product." <laughs> I was like, "Bro, you don't know what the F in FDA stands for." <laughs> no, she makes There's definitely like some type of lawsuit that's gonna happen. There's no way there isn't. Do you, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Do you think anyone actually ate any Cares of it? Like, yes, people did. Honestly, they made videos. If they did, like, it's on them. On you. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't know. know. It is on them, but like maybe the first few, because she tried to sell it as like being legit. So like maybe the first like you know few orders could be like not necessarily their fault because like it seemed legit, and then they get it and they're like, what the heck is this? Yeah, she mixed up the servings with like the size of the container in grams, and so it's apparently like four hundred forty-four servings. servings. Whoa! <laughs> Which equals out to like eighteen thousand calories or something. <laughs> it's like I don't That's think there's insane. that many in that bottle. But yeah, I thought that was crazy. Uh, Speaking of we didn't lawsuits, have you guys been watching the Alex Jones trial? I've seen oh, bits and no. pieces of it. I already didn't show up to I, court the first time. He, yeah, so he still refuses to show up to court, which means, like, he's definitely getting, like, a large fine already. But, uh... Can you get, like, arrested? Like, the most... Probably. But, like, uh, the most recent clip I saw was the judge... In every clip I've seen, the judge is just, like, fed up with, um, like, his attorney and, like, all of his witnesses. <laughs> and in the most recent one I saw, he was questioning, uh like a girl who like works for the company and she was like do you think that the people in this room are paid actors i saw that and it, it took her like 10 seconds to answer and she was like yes <laughs> was like, Jesus that'll, that'll go well telling the jury that they're all paid actors yeah it's not <laughs> They're not winning this by any means. <laughs> uh, I don't think there was. Uh, I don't think there was any chance that they would, anyways. If <laughs> there's no way they were gonna win a defamation case <laughs> because of him saying that Sandy Hook didn't happen, <laughs> I think that's a pretty that's a pretty shut case. I would hope. I'd be concerned if it wasn't. <laughs> Yeah. Anyways, you guys got any recommendations? 
Um, sure, I'll start off. Um, like I said earlier, I've been playing a lot of Slay the Spire recently. Uh, played for a while, but I uh, just got back into it, and it's pretty good. It's a roguelike uh, game where all the combat is card-based. Uh, you get, like, a new card every time you, uh, like, defeat enemies, and it's pretty fun. Uh, but the real recommendation is uh, Frost Prime on YouTube who uploads like a lot of interesting runs that he does, a lot of like challenge runs, uh, a lot of mods that are for the game, uh, and just like some pretty interesting videos. So that's my recommendation, Frost Prime. Shout out, that guy. That guy. That guy. Ethan? Oh, I have honestly just been cooking more than anything this week. Really? So. I recommend everybody go make themselves <laughs> their nice favorite meal. What have you been cooking? I've been making, I made this like cheesy broccoli rice, bro, with Ooh. some veggie chicken like protein stuff in it. Shit was amazing. Yeah. And I also made some tacos. Those absolutely destroyed my stomach, though. <laughs> yeah, it's for the greater good, though. True. Sam? Um, yeah, Sam, go ahead. Oh, well, actually, I haven't been up to much this week. I've been moving, so that's kind of <coughs> taken up most of my attention. But in the midst of it all, I did get started on Jujutsu Kaisen. I watched anime a lot more in high school. I didn't watch much at all throughout college and just heard that this was a good one and similar to Naruto, which is one of my favorite childhood animes. And boy is it but it's a lot more mature and it's it's got a sense of humor but it also is brutal and i like that about it so it's been a cool ride so far so that's that's all from me shout out um my recommendation is ooh stuff um i don't know i've just been kind of chill this past week i've been playing a lot of getting back into gta a bit um GTA is a lot of fun, you know, just get on, fuck around. So that'll be my recommendation, I guess. I'm really, I'm way right. too high to think clear thoughts anymore, <laughs> so. That's it for nice. me. Nice. Um, Alright, well that's going to do it for this episode. Um, it was Everybody prepare for next week. When I uh, poop my pants live on stream. True. We, don't uh, this. we will be... We will be in Florida, and we'll hopefully be recording there. Oh, yeah. Uh, and uh, also, Pierce has a pretty big announcement. I do. So I do I? get prepared for that. I guess. Yeah. Cool. All right, then. See you guys next time. Peace off. Yeah. <laughs>